Hey everyone, NASCAR champion Joey Logano here, and I am a Ford guy. I race Fords, I love Fords, and I got a pretty sweet collection, so I wanted to show everybody what we got here at my shop. I wanted to start with where it all started. The Ford Model T 1924. This to me is one of my favorites because you feel like you're going 140 miles an hour when you're going 30 with these wooden wheels and the car wants to roll over and everything you do is just kind of backwards driving it uh, with the way the pedals work and the throttle and all. And just something about hand cranking the motor. It's a little bit of cool factor when you go take your wife to dinner or something. It seems neat. But I wanted to take you from the old Ford where it all started to the amazing technology of the Ford GT. This car is the complete opposite. It makes you feel like you're going uh, 60 when you're going 140. It's completely different. <laughs> and, uh, it's the one that's gonna get me in trouble, but something really neat about this, this is the Heritage Edition that was only around for 2017 in this black and silver stripes. And all of them have the two on it. And I said to Ford, I said, guys, I can't have my teammates number the two on it. I gotta have the 22. So this is the only one with the 22 on it. It is also VIN number 22, uh, so it makes it very unique and a lot of fun and a, kind of a cool uh, setting right next to where Ford all started to the technology that they bring today. Now obviously you can't have that without this. This is the car that earns the money. <laughs> the uh, race cars and, and this is the, the one of the cars we've raced back in the day and when Mustang was introduced into the NASCAR uh, series and, and the Cup series, um, Ford wanted to do a pretty cool video. Uh, we teamed up with Von Gittin Jr. and made a drift video. And so we made a NASCAR Cup car into a drifting car. Uh, so it's got the handbrake, it has a bunch of steering wheel angle. We made a really cool video together with three Mustangs tandem drifting uh, through the Charlotte Motor Speedway Roval. It's really neat. And uh, when we won the championship in 2018, Ford gave me that car, so it's something really neat to have. Obviously with the Mustang tradition, you got to have the Mach 1, a 71 Mach 1. We call it the Mach 22. This thing's got all the cool styling uh, that you'd want. kind of matches the same paint scheme as the Ford GT, but it has the modern drivetrain in it. It has a 5.0 Coyote with a supercharger. Really fun car, really fast car. Speaking of Mustangs and fast cars, though, I mean, everyone's got to have Fox Body. I mean, it, you either love them or you hate them, but I, I'm one of the people that loves them. Uh, it also has a 5.0 supercharged motor in it and uh, boy it, it rocks <laughs> it's a really fun car they're so light and they just kind of get thrown around and do whatever you want with it this might be my favorite though it's a 35 Ford truck from factory 5 it's a kit car and we put this thing together a few years back with snap-on and we wanted to make a car that's very versatile it can do about anything and this is it this thing can go to the racetrack and be fast because we put a cup motor in it, 850 horsepower in this bad boy. Uh, and then we made it to where we can drift too, because you want to do some fun things so you can see the, the upper control arms are all cut out to get more steering wheel angle. We made it to a five speed sequential just because it's cool, why wouldn't you? And the nice part about it is you can do burnouts all day and just get some knockoff tires from the cup car, throw those on it and keep doing burnouts. So that whole thing is a lot of fun. Now going from fast to Pretty slow. <laughs> this is the 6140 Econoline. Uh, I found this at the racetrack. A security guard had it here in Charlotte. And I said, man, those are really cool. They're unique. They're fun. Obviously, you can tell I like things that are a little bit different. And so I eventually talked them into buying it. It was in pretty rough shape. So we started restoring. We said, what do we do with this thing? Like, what's, what do we put in the bed of it? You know, I'm not going to go to a local home improvement store and put a bunch of lumber on the back of it. So we said, let's make a camper. So it's got a pop-up camper, and you can get a TV in the back, and uh, go camping with the family in the back. We kind of like, just cuz, I guess. Uh, speaking with kind of older, cool styling, uh, this right here is a 56 Ford panel delivery truck. And man, this thing is might be the only panel van that is doing donuts out there. This thing has a straight up GT500 drivetrain in it. Uh, so, and it has a crown fix suspension, so it handles good, but it's got a ton of power, super reliable, drive it anywhere you want. Uh, that's kind of like the everyday cruiser uh, of them all, to where you have something reliable. And if you guys are car people, you've probably heard of Rutledge Wood. I've known him for a long time, and he's one hell of a salesman, is what I've realized. And I got stuck with this thing. It's a big old Ford uh, tab over ramp truck, 
and this is the project vehicle. We haven't quite figured out exactly what we want to do with it, but we know it's a big project just because it's big. <laughs> so we're not sure what we want to do, but I think overall it'd be really cool to roll it to a car show when we're all able to see each other again and not have to do virtual car shows anymore and throw it maybe a real neat car on the top, uh, maybe the Model T or something could be neat. And then this car right here, this is neat. This is a two-seater cup car. Uh, this is the real deal that's come off the racetrack. This is what I want to give hell rides in. I want to make sure when I give a ride to someone, it is all out. And uh, so we've kept the, the 50th anniversary of Team Penske on there. This is the paint scheme that we ran uh, back a few years ago. If you look at all the pictures, it has all the big wins from Team Penske, from all the, the road course stuff they've done. The, you know, so these pictures of Mario Andretti on here, Rusty Wallace. Uh, you know, all, all the, the legends that have raced for Roger Penske uh, and a few pictures of me, so I think that's pretty neat as well. And then to finish it all off, this is the newest of the collection. When I say new, I'm talking like yesterday new. Uh, this is a 1930 Ford Model A Rat Rod. Uh, and I just think Rat Rods are super cool. I've always been a Rat Rod person just because they're unique. There's something different about them all the time. And this thing's extreme. I don't know if you're taking this for the, the family ride up through the mountains, but uh, it's definitely something that's going to be an eye turner and uh, catch your attention and check this out. Not that it's already not low enough, but this bad boy goes all the way to And I like that you're sitting in the rear seat. You're, you're, you're literally, you put your arm out the window, you're almost touching the left rear tire. So none of that makes sense. It's not practical, but it looks cool. And so obviously you can tell I love Ford cars and I like kind of having something a little bit different and uh, maybe something from every category, but that's just me. I wish we could all be together. I wish, uh, you know, we can do these car shows together again, but someday we will. Uh, but for now, we're having a lot of fun, uh, you know, getting to work on them and, and doing some virtual videos. So help everyone stay safe and we'll see everyone soon.